Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's Spotlight Assembly beamed into your classrooms. Today as hosts we have myself, Tala and Akira. Before we start, we would like to remind you about personal goals during our Pa and Min assemblies. Please make sure you are listening carefully throughout our assembly. This shows that you are go- being respectful penguins. We are going to start off with Spotlight on Music and we have a treat in store. Ryan Kwan from 4N play Mr. McGill's Boop Shabop by Andy and R. Faber on the piano. And we also have a short video clip of Harvey from Year 5 playing the drums. was great. Now everyone keep practicing your music at home and that could be you playing for us. If you would like to learn an instrument please tell your parents to contact Miss Anne or Mr. Mervyn. There has been an incredible amount of learning going on this week. It's been great to see all the learners really engaged and also enjoying their learning. Enjoy watching our learning video. This is my roller coaster called Twisting Tune. At first, when you ride the car, you will smell this dog's odorant. And when you go down the side, you will see this kangaroo that will blow on you. And when you go up, you will see this cat that will sway its paws in front of you. And at the end, there's a snake for you to crawl out. Bye. Hi, I'm Serena, and you're looking at the Tropical Loopy Loop. This ride is basically an underwater roller coaster, and it's very calming instead of scary. This ride is filled with a lot of sea creatures such as fishes, but mostly tropical fishes. This is my ride. It's a roller coaster. So you start from the beginning, do a hula hoop, then you go through the fire, do a free fall. You can watch the fish underwater while water sprays on top. Then there will be machine dinosaurs, which will scare the wits out of you. Then you'll do a free fall again, You'll be given a paintball gun. You have to shoot the target. But if you miss, it'll let you down as well. So, you'll, then you'll see a good, a nice good helping man holding a computer, ev- a laughing an evil laugh, and then there will be a page saying error, 
when this page shows up, you will be dropped down into two different directions. If you go on the left, then it's a simple ride. But if you go on the right, then you're going to see a picture of a volcano erupting. Doing a twist, then going to the spring, which will spring you to the end. Hi, my name is Jingyi, and today I'm sharing about fairground rides. My fairground ride is called the Water Twist, and this is the first part of it. The slide goes down and into a loop, and then it goes down. The second part of the slide goes underwater, and in there are fish of different or species. The third part of the water twist goes up and does two loops, and then it goes to the end of the ride. That is all of my fairground ride. Thanks for visiting. Hi, this is my roller coaster ride. It's called an owl flyby. The roller coaster car is an owl, and the track is a tree trunk. It's a bumpy ride. And once you go down a turn, it'll be really wiggly and there'll be a lot of flips. There are a lot of pop-outs like bee, flower, and some owls. And the theme is a forest. Bye. Fantastic learning, everyone. Let us celebrate the birthdays since the holiday has split. Taya and Arthur from year three. Iris and Sophia and Finlu from Year 4, Daniela from Year 5, and Keisha, Kyrene and Elias from Year 6. Before we go to Miss Claire for a final message, let's go to Miss Cheryl Ann who will tell us about a very special day next Friday, Autism Acceptance Day. Hello everyone. Next week at Nexus, we are celebrating Autism Acceptance Week. This is a time for us to come together to share an understanding and acceptance of what autism is and how people with autism see the world around them. Autism is a lifelong condition experienced by many people. Children with autism can sometimes have difficulties with social situations and communication, although this is not the same for every child on the spectrum. We can think of the autistic spectrum like a range of colours on the rainbow that represent different abilities and needs. Every person with autism has different strengths, talents and needs that should be accepted and supported. So we are inviting our Nexus community to take part in the Rainbow Challenge. On Friday the 30th of April, learners can come to school wearing rainbow colours. You can choose either your favourite rainbow colour to wear all at once, or you can wear a variety of colours. The most important thing is that we have fun and we use this rainbow challenge as an opportunity to help us to understand and accept autism. We look forward to seeing you all on Friday in your rainbow colours. Hello everyone and I hope that you have had a fantastic first week back at school after having a really lovely and relaxing break. Thank you so much to Tala and Akira for their wonderful presenting skills and I would like to start off by saying a very very warm welcome to our new learners who've joined us in school this week. So welcome to Rizvan and Alice in year five and to Boo, Mahanan and Johannes in early years and to Ryan in year four. It's really great to have you as part of our Nexus community and I hope that everyone in your class and around school are making you feel really welcome. Now I'd like to say a huge well done to all of those learners who were involved in our second global summit. 
They have worked extremely hard, they have practiced a lot, they practiced over the holidays to be very effective communicators. They've, they've also had to really use their organisation skills to attend meetings out of school to make sure all of their Zoom links work and they know what they have to do. So a massive well done to them. Now, we will show parts of the video in next week's assembly because we're very proud of our learners and we're very proud of the summit and we would really like to share that with everybody. Our topic was on the importance of embracing diversity. If you were a presenter in the summit in year four, five, six, could you stand up now in your class, please? and we will give them a big round of applause. Well done, everyone. If you enjoyed it, or if you haven't joined a summit yet and you are interested, then look out because we will host a summit each term. So do let me know if you'd like to be involved in the next one, okay. Right, well, have a wonderful and safe weekend, everybody, and we will see you in school on Monday. Take care.